Here's the top, is this short circuit reason back some more? Bonnie was a gap the birth. In the last episode, we started off with playing some little Lilith, and in this episode, we're gonna start with Eve. Now, first thing you may notice, hey, this looks pretty neat and swell and not blurry as hell and out of frame. Well, that's because I'd rely on my good old buddy Xplit to see how this will do. So this is post commentary, which is always the best thing to see. Now honestly, when I was playing this run, I honestly thought that this run was not going to go anywhere, considering, well, what happens later on? But, surprisingly enough, this actually does go pretty well. And the whole run was a very interesting one. Now with Eve, she starts off with the Razor Blade, Dead Bird, and the Horror Babylon. Horror Babylon activates here when you get to a whole heart, or half a heart normally, and you will get buffed damage, as well as, well, a half heart penalty. Well, with other classes, it starts with um, half heart instead, so you have a lot more risk with other classes. But with Eve, you just have a whole, just a whole normal one heart. And if you have Devil Deals, it will be active automatically. And the Dead Bird only activates when Eve is damaged, and it's just a companion that will run around and try and attack some of the enemies. Which is fine and all. And if you start off with a basement level XL floor, and I decide here that, hey, you yeah, might as well pick up the Swallow Penny. If you didn't already know, Swallow Penny gives you coins when you are, or drops coins when you are damaged. And over here, I think if I remember this correctly, this floor was kind of stupid because of where the items, or the item floor was. And it was around here that I thought maybe this run was gonna end very soon and have to do another one. But no, actually. I've got the boss door right here, and I've got these weird fetus-like enemies that I haven't really divulged into, because I don't think we fought um, the main form of it. If we did, then well, I don't remember. Now, it was, it was another floor that I was thinking of, with the different um, item rooms, never mind. Anyways, in this item room we pick up the God's Flesh Shrink Shot. What this does is, every now and then you'll shoot off a shot, as you can see there's probably, but when that shot contacts an enemy, it will give you a chance to shrink the enemy down to size, and once that happens, well, the enemy will take a lot more damage. And you could just stab the enemies and destroy them right there. And as you can see, there was a nice blue grab, bomb, get, whatever I mean. <laughs> and even post commentary doesn't mean I can't take a drink or anything. Oh boy. You have to enjoy this intriguing level of gameplay. For this entire time I was just dodging around this heart, this fire, just so it wouldn't shoot me, because as you know the orange fires will attack you. And then I get hit by something here, I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, I run headfirst into that. And I'm just like, man, I am so close to dead. Then all of a sudden the enemy over there gets killed by something. And we get moved on to the next item room. Which is the punching bag, which is a scapegoat. Which means that for the first few seconds of a room, or every now and then, enemies will start attacking that thing and avoid you. So it's good, but then there's a challenge in Afterbirth which kind of takes this a little bit... Well, it's kind of not necessarily the best item in the, that challenge. Because it gives you that and you have to protect it, like actually as a, a, a bodyguard, you know. And it's alright, it's fair to say, but it's it's funny though, because the challenge is kind of difficult, although I did manage to beat it. I don't even know what that weapon that's used in that is. Anyways, let's go to the shop. As we see here, I've got some... Two batteries. Which one of them would give me an extra bonus bar, and one would give me a lot more... Well, power. And it would charge up a lot more. Donation machine didn't work, so I might as well just pick up a key. And a bomb. And some hearts. For the long run, of course. But now it's time for the boss. And because it's an XL floor, that means you have to fight two bosses, hooray! And we got the head Headless Horseman, which I was pretty sure that I was going to die on because of how this went. And there were some there were points in this run, actually, where I forgot that I actually had the, the scapegoat. So it was just like, maybe I'll, I'll actually take damage because it was targeting the scapegoat and I was running towards the scapegoat unknowingly. It was also around here when I thought, hey, this run isn't going to go well again. Maybe I just have low confidence in myself. But no, he ends up killing himself. I'm gonna pick up the pony, which gives you flight and dash. And we got Little Horn as well. 
so destroy the fires. Make sure you miss the the dodgy hack or the sprint, I don't know. And have some things going on. I think there's one point up here where the, the little horn just throws down a troll bomb and almost kills himself. But at least he teleports out of the way. It's a bit silly actually. Not there, but I think it's the next one. If I remember this run correctly. Because this was yesterday that I finished this run. I still haven't done a lot more. No, it's not that bomb. I swear, you, you've done this. I've seen this. Trust me. You've thrown down a troll bomb and almost killed yourself. Because you put it right next to you. Come on, don't, don't make a liar out of me, I saw this! God, post commentary is interesting, isn't it? It's really weird though, because it's not immediate there, so I can actually have notes to read up on whilst recording this. See, there we go, see, he almost killed himself at very low health. Just silly. You now he's pick up the halo, gives me all stats up. And immediately after that, I get rid of the one heart that I had, so I just purchased the, the pentagram, which gives me a damage up. Yeah, it's a bit spoilery, just showing or telling what I did before it happens, but, you know, it's one thing. Now we must muster our way down to the caves. And I don't know if this whole episode is fluent enough, but I do know there was one point where there was detected drop frames. But it's it's fine, alright, though. But it still works fine. Well, anyway, though, um, with the other things that have happened, you may have noticed on, like, the, the menu screen, that I actually cleared greed mode with all characters. So now I have all the greed mode spoils, which is very nice. And then, because of that, I've got some nice other things as well, including that one ARG character that I was talking about a while ago. Well, last episode, but you know. Don't need to get into specifics, man. Who needs specifics when you got arms like these? Oh, damn. I don't even remember what most of this run, but I do know there were some points that were notable. Like, um, how there were some battery jugglings at some point. No, that was a different run, that was the last screen run, never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Although there was the hero fault right there. Which gives you two soul hearts, which is great. And then there's that! Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but that was just a weird graphical error. Oh, I think it was because of the resolution I had the game in. It was the only one I could do. But the other reason why I couldn't record like a normal pre like with like yeah pre commentary I guess or current com commentary was because um well after Windows 10 updated Isaac wouldn't go into full screen so now I'm stuck with doing something like this for pre next episodes and that was an expert play right there whoa I'm getting weird vibes that seem very familiar from something I recorded earlier this month although you might not see it yet so <laughs> it makes sense smooth like cursor out of the way so I can see what's going on, man. There has to be things that's going on. Pick up a key. Make sure it's fine. And then we get the Robo Baby 2.0. We worked out all the kinks. And now it's a familiar that you control with your directional pad. And he will automatically stuff fine, so he's like an automatic turret. Oh boy. <laughs> see, those enemies are my favorite enemies because they will f just fire straight away. As you can see there, um, the not necessarily the first instance. Ah, uh, yes. The first shot, first kill room. Yeah, there's actually some instances of um, seeing the enemy shrink, though. And when you run into them, you, you can just blow them up. Now, I should I should warn you, though. And a very important thing, a detail that you might not know about. If you shrink a Molagoon... Wait, no. Um, the Boomfly. Sorry, if you shrink down the Boomfly and you step on it, it will still explode, so unless you have Pyromaniac, it will end up doing you a lot of damage. Well, have a whole lot of damage, but you know. Well, they're thinking about this, and how I've got this episode, maybe there'll be some point where I can actually get like a second player in and record an episode. It'd be all neat and join, you know. Oh, yeah, nice. I forgot about this. Well, here is the flooded caves in all of its glory that I kind of forgot about anyway. And, as you can hear, just this music and the aesthetic is just so nice. Just, just listen to it for a while, I'm just gonna shut up and let you listen to it. Yeah, it's just, it's just such a nice area to be in because 
it's it's got very nice atmosphere. When I first saw this, it was in the in the daily run that I decided to do on on the 31st of October, and it was quite cool because we had a lot of things going on. Troll bomb, of course it would. And then I thought, hey, let's just press the button and. You know, these switches, they can yield good stuff and bad stuff, but this time we just got three of these bad enemies. Well, I could just leave. Although I could... No, I decided to kill them. Because it doesn't, um, break anything. It doesn't shut the door behind you when you step on the button. Anyway, it's a blank room, though. I forgot that I picked it up, though. I forget a lot of things, don't I? I, f I just forgot that I picked up the blank room. Now, if you don't know what a blank room is, I'm pretty sure you need to, um... I can't remember when you unlock it. And this is the example I was talking about with the boom flies and the shrinking. Um, when you unlock it, there is a thing that happens. I'm probably going to say, blank rune gives you a random rune effect when you use it. So it's like the question mark card, I think, that you can get also. I don't, I don't really know. But we do have the wiggle worm, which makes the shots very nice. Now, it was either this floor or the next floor. But there was one item that necessarily made this a little bit better to utilize. It was either, yeah, like I said, it was either this floor or the next floor. But we got, also got these Duke of Flies things. Now I think they're just like, um, just, I can't even remember what those enemies are called. And if they are called anything. Which, speaking of, there is actually a DLC. Well, another DLC coming out for Afterbirth soon. And I mean very soon, because we don't have any dates at all. It's called Afterbirth Plus, or Afterbirth Cross, I'm not sure. And what this will give us is full-on mod support for the game, so I can just create my own graphics, make my own characters. And as you can see, um, when you shrink the F these guys, they will still stay in their mush form when you defeat them. So if you want some good plays, you've got to shrink them, then run them over, like so. He's like, get back here. There we go. Now, I, I'm not sure if this is pointless or anything, but I can make more jokes when post-commentary, because, well, I could write them out, I could, or I could just do live commentary over the video, like I'm doing right now. Ah, oh, here we go, Polyphemus. So, if you remember Polyphemus from no or Rebirth, well, what it does is fairly simple, it's just a giant shot that does a lot of damage. Get more coins pick up the soul heart and just run out of there. But what they added in Rebirth well, with Polyphemus is that when you kill an enemy with one tier shot, it doesn't waste a shot but it takes all the damage away from the tier that you would use to kill the enemy and just keeps it going. So it's light penetrating but not necessarily. Here's the boss, Gertie! We'll shoot right in and we just have some things going on. Now, I was just about to say something but then again it never happened in this. Don't worry. <laughs> but we do have Gertie here doing doing his thing. Oh no wait, I think it was after this that I got a very interesting familiar. I really don't remember what happened. It was either this run or the one run I did after it with Kane, I think. But there were a lot of cool things that happened in it. And because it didn't take any red heart damage, I believe. It no, it's 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 because I took a devil deal, never mind. That was like a um a run I had where it was just I picked up a very interesting item, which I believe is called Seraphim. But anyways, Guppy's Hairball is a Guppy item that he added. No, no, they didn't add it. It was just a Guppy item that you used to like, just swing it around. It's very, very interesting. Depths 1! Let's walk around. Got these well interesting plays, because you have the robot baby. And I got the laughing hand. And this is that point where I forget that I have the Muller Boom, so it just starts I'm not saying no, money boom, I, I had the scapegoat, and I just started attacking that one, I was just like, what, what's happening, why am I not getting pressed, and then it just slammed down, I was just like, oh, well, that guy's getting killed, it doesn't matter, but we do have these safe zones, to try and kill that embryo thing again, and what's nice is that the tears, these polyphemus tears would go through fires as well, and I had to check which room I was in, just in case it was a, a double and an XL4, but it wasn't. Anyways, as you can see, because of the fanciness of X Split, you can see there's nice rounded borders, so we don't necessarily have like a complete map at the top, and we don't have like all of the item space in the earth corner. 
Anyways, as you as you saw, that was the Game Kid, and me being stupid. <laughs> and the Game Kid, what that does is it will give you a brief period of invincibility where you can kill enemies and gain health from it. And I thought that wasn't necessarily a good item to pick up. So then I want to actually use the blank rune and hope to get um, the... Oh, what was it? Um, Perfro rune effect. But then we have one of these things, which I don't even know what it is. I just keep... I want to say... I It's it's poly something. But every time I see this boss, I just... It's just there. And I swear, this, this boss shows up a lot more than the Gertie Juniors. Which... Yeah, all the gurglings, I'm not sure. If I pick up this, which is the moon, but where am I? Right beside the item room. <laughs> Push the button, gives me a bomb. So I use it. Uh, no, I don't. I don't use it. And that was a good voice crack there. No, I don't. Oh boy. Now, hopefully this run gets over with so I can do some things, practice some up, and do a lot of things. Blank room! Yay. Question marks for the... Yeah, oh god, there is nothing. Maybe there is something though, because I'm just sorted on my wall. Anyways, we actually got Perfro, but we got the Anarchist Cookbook, which isn't really that good. It just spawns six troll bombs, like using the tower, but, you know, just manually. Anyways, coming up very soon, I mean very soon, I mean a year later, will be the next season of Rick and Morty, which everyone's going to be proud of and everyone's going to be excited for. Because it's just like Rick and Morty, why is it gone so slow? I know exactly why, because it takes a lot of inspiration to think up the comedy stuffs for Rick and Morty. And stuff like that, just it's very, very smart comedy and you need a lot of smart men to work on it. Get a double kill there, because I don't know. Hookworm, which makes your shot shoot in a zigzaggy pattern. And then there's this, and oh, that wasn't more of that, really. Now, I, I'm pretty, this was, this happened in the Road to the Lost episode. Um, episode 2, I think. But, um, if you were to beat your mother in the depths 2, as fast as you can, and beat it in under 20 minutes, you will unlock a bonus boss rush, which has been a bit changed since the last time, well, since, yeah, since Rebirth, and everything's fine. Now, I forgot about this when playing through, and when actually, like, editing, but, um, my mother always told me that if you want, if you're going to point out something that's gonna offend some people, you probably shouldn't, so I would suggest, um, Jewish people not look at the map right now, preferably the far left, because, oh god, that is definitely what you think it is. And there is the right orientation, because if it was the other way, it would be a Hindu symbol and not the swastika. Because everyone makes that bloody mistake. And I find it funny, whenever I look at graffiti, it's just like, where's the swastika? And it's like, no, that, that's a Hindu symbol, you, you screwed up. You're, you're really, really funny with your religious beliefs, my friend. And we have this, this greed shopkeeper, I mean, look at him, he's just like, Bleh! And maybe that's why, because he just blew him up. Anyways. I had enough currency, so I bought the pay-to-play, which makes it so that all key doors have been replaced with money doors. So it's like an arcade, but for every locked door. Although this doesn't mean that you don't need keys, because you still need them for chests, unless you have the lockpick. Which makes it so that keys, I don't know, you can use them for key beggars. Here we have war, and it's um bomb variant, which I like to call it, which means that he'll do a lot of bomb damage. And this was pretty hectic to say the least because a lot of this was, well, in the moment. And it was lucky that I actually had flight here. Because if I didn't, then, well, maybe there wouldn't be a lot more, a lot more of, of this run to watch anyway. Anyways, we get another cube of meat, so we have a little meat buddy rotating around us, and he's got his nice little toothy smile, his toothy grin. And we got the Necropolis, Curse of Darkness, so now everything's foggy and ashel. Oh god, that's stupid. But we do have um, the secret rooms on the map available because we did buy the other thing. 
More coins! Like we need it. Well, it is the last floor before, um, well, bosses, so we could pick up, like, a store if we can find one. What am I seeing? I don't think I even found one. I think I just wanted to try and get to the final boss as quickly as possible so I could try and get into that go boss gauntlet. But it didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry for spoilers. And then there was this, where it was just these... These, I don't even remember what they called, like, zombies. I'm certain. God, I know I'm certain about a lot of things. Not even just in Battlebug Fiat, I'm just certain. And then I decided, after the scene now, I was just like, why didn't I decide on firing at them beforehand? I could have just shrunk them down to size and used that to my ability. But apparently I didn't. But now I have this. But anyways, to refrain from talking about Isaac for a second here, what could happen in the near future is that I've actually recorded, well, I actually bought a couple games on Steam, which are two very recent and more or less unpopular games. Also, good, um, sword play right there. I mean, sword. I say sword play, I mean, um, dash into. Or a good, a good horse dash, that's what I mean to say. Alright, okay, the so two games I bought on Steam are Screen Cheat and Ben and Ed. So, one of them's a Rager game, and another one could be a Rager game depending on who you're playing with. So, it'll be interesting. This ring gets broken because of flight. And it was because of the low resolution I was playing on, because, well, game doesn't run fast in the high resolution. I didn't even notice that there was an item room there. It was because the um, the doors were changed. But I did pick up the mom's contact, which helps a lot. And then, if I remember correctly, I pick up the starter deck, which gives me an, a devil card. But I don't think I can beat my own mother in, fit, in 20, 45 seconds, especially because I have to get through this room first. But anyways, Mom's Contact gives you freezing taste, which means that the enemies will freeze in place. So it's very useful. Yeah! And then I use the Devil card, which gives me a little eye effect, more damage. Throw this out. There would be a lot less talking if this was the live commentary, but as you may know, commentary doesn't necessarily sound good without a microphone, now doesn't it? And even though this isn't this has been recorded without a microphone, and I've checked that the audio co um, quality in XSplit is good. Well, I checked that the audio quality in XSplit, and it was horrible. It was very um. But in Audacity, however, it is pretty good. Well, this is a pretty hectic boss anyway, because we're at half the heart. We could die at any moment, but we end up doing it. I'm gonna beat it in 2011. I just check what the completion marks go into here, and I decide because I only have that much health, I'm just going to pick up something here. What should we pick up? Oh well, maybe this. The dark bomb, which means that if I find any hearts, the normal hearts anywhere, I'll just pick them up and use them. Everything will be fine. Utero. And it was about there where I thought maybe I was just going to die very early. Oh well. Doesn't matter, we pick up this bomb bag, which gives you random things in it every time. And it was there where I thought I would die, but thankfully, <laughs> with the meat boy, I did a thing. I survived and hoping to get some hearts in there. Stupidly picked up the full heart when I could have left the full heart to that guy. Probably would have survived a lot longer if I gave that guy the full heart. Because Lord knows he needed it. <laughs> Go up here, let him pick that up, got nothing, something over here, almost die, don't worry. And this is where the run ends actually, because, well, this. I could have avoided it by going up, but then there's something there. Don't take a break, because it was like, ah, oh, god. But that's it anyway. So, um, just to do a quick show at the end here, just showing you all the characters and completion marks I've gotten. We have Isaac, Magdalene, Kane, Judas. Question marks. Eve, Samson, Zazzle, Lazarus, Eden, The Lost, Lilith. Just showing that the loss is beaten. But, anyways, in the next episode, we're gonna tackle The Keeper. Stay tuned for that, my friends. It's gonna be interesting. Real interesting. Bye.